Okay, I have the USB cable connected to the B rotor flight controller right here in my airplane. And I just want to show you how the flight modes work. So this cable runs over to the USB port on my laptop. Let's just take a look at clean flight and we'll look at the OSD at the same time and I'll show you how the flight modes work. Okay, so when I toggle this switch right here, which is actually channel 5, or AUX1 they call it sometimes, you'll see that right now it's in acro mode when the switch is all the way forward or off and then when I go to the second position it becomes stabilized mode you can hear the radio talking too and then horizon mode, horizon mode right there back stabilized to stabilized mode. acro mode stabilized mode horizon mode stabilized mode acro mode now if we do the same thing in clean flight, we'll go to modes, which is right here. Go to modes. Okay, now when I flip the switch, you should be able to see this. I'll flip the switch. You can see right now the pointer is right here. And watch it bounce up into this green area when I'm going to go to uh, from acro mode to what is it? Stabilize mode. Angle mode. The stabilized mode is actually angle mode, and now it's right in this area. And if I go to the third position, horizon mode. now it's in horizon mode right here. And when it's back at the beginning, when the switch is all the way forward, it's not in any mode at all. And it, when it's in no mode at all, nothing's selected in here, it's considered acro mode. So nothing's selected in my chart. So that's basically how it works. Uh, the OSD says that when it's actually in angle mode, which is the middle position, mode. right here, that that's stabilized mode, and that's the way it behaves. Okay, so that's how it works. Let's take a look at how to set it up. So Clean Flight is actually a Google app, and to launch it, you just go ahead into your browser, Google Chrome. Go to this button here, bring up your Google Apps, that's where you should have installed it, and click on it. Now you connect your B rotor to your USB port, and then you can click Connect, and connect it. Now we're talking about flight modes here, so I've already done the setup on the B rotor. That's in some of my other videos but we're going to be doing flight mode. So the first thing I want to look at is PID tuning and this tab here I found that the flight modes on my plane acted a, light, a lot better. In other words they operated the control surfaces a lot better if I was in Lux float. I did have a multi-Wii rewrite there for a while. I tried multi-Wii 2.3 and I had some funny things happen with the control surfaces when I was moving the sticks on my radios in the different flight modes. So I tried Lux Float and everything cleared up. So I just assume maybe that's because the B rotor has floating point processors, so that's what it uses. I don't know, but I just know that Lux Float worked really good. So I just thought I'd tell you that. I'm not getting into the PIDs here because I covered that in another video. Okay, so. We're going to have three modes, and we're going to have Acro, Angle, and Horizon. And uh, Acro mode is automatically selected. If you don't pick anything in this chart, you're going to be in Acro mode all the time. Even if you don't have a switch coming in on channel 5, you'll just be stuck in Acro mode continually. So we don't really need to set anything up for that. We'll just call switch position 0 on our AUX1 switch to be acro. But what we are going to set up is we're going to add angle and we're going to add horizon. So let's go ahead and add angle first. We'll do add range. Now right now the switch is in position 0 right here. You can see the pointer. I'm going to flip my mode switch to, this is AUX1, channel 5. I'm going to flip it to the second or the middle position, which is stabilized mode on the OSD, but it's actually angle mode. It's kind of a, 
It's kind of a mode that keeps a plane stabilized and auto-leveled all at once while you're flying. Whereas acro mode doesn't do much of anything. It just lets you fly the plane and you can do stunts or whatever you want. With a, with a mini quad, this would be the thing that you do your flips in, the acro mode. Uh, but in angle mode, you actually have some self-leveling and stabilization. So you can see where the sliders are and you can just leave them there for now. Now let's set up horizon mode. So we'll do add range on horizon mode and I'll flip the switch and you can see it's way up here now in the third position on my switch. It's all the way forward. So let's move these sliders around that and we don't want the sliders to overlap or this range to overlap with the other ranges. So not unless you intend that, like if you wanted to put combined barrow with auto level or something, you might want to do that. But I'm not going to use barrow. I'm just going to use these two modes and acro. Okay, so now that's basically it. I'll just go ahead and save it. And so now when I move my switch, I've got acro mode down here because nothing's selected, so I can just fly my plane normally. And then when I want stabilization and auto level, I just go to stabilize mode, which is angle mode. And then horizon mode up here, it acts pretty much like angle mode until you bang the sticks all the way to their extremes. And then it acts more like acro mode, where you can actually do some rolls or a loop or something. So in the, in the middle or near the center of, these, of the uh, curve, if you have a curve or for where your stick positions are in the center of the stick positions horizon acts like angle with its all the stabilization features but as soon as you go to the extremes it'll start the sticks will start acting more like they do in acro mode which is over here so that's what we have that's my understanding so you just save it and that's pretty much all there is to it except for setting up the radio now to get the flight mode information to show up on your B Rotor OSD display, you need to set something in the MultiWii OSD configuration tool. So launch the configuration tool and you'll get a window like this after you connect. And what you can do is go to this area right here and make sure display flight mode is green right here and there's other options here to turn on other things on the display. Uh, I like to have the Vario on and the uh, the Barrow altitude thing on and the flight mode that's what I'm using right now and the, and the display timer. I think that's about all I have in this area turned on. Uh, by default I think these are all on like this anyway so you may not even have to go in here to get the flight modes to display but I just thought I'd show you that now I'll go over what I did with my Tyrannus now and just show you how I set that up but most radios it's very easy you just use your aux switch enable your aux one switch channel 5 and that's all you have to do okay quick rundown on the setup on the Tyrannus here for channel 5 for my flight mode switch now I'm going to be using uh, this switch right here, as we saw mode. Mode. in the video. So I'll show you how I set that up. Alright, so let's get into the menus here. And I need to go to menu 5. Okay, we'll start right out on menu 5 on the inputs. So here we are in the inputs, and as you can see, down below here I have added F mode here on channel 5 let's just go into that edit and so all I did was I gave it a name called F mode for the fifth one down here and it is SB for the source which is the SB switch right here okay and all I had to do was go down and highlight SB like that and then move the switch and it automatically put it in there. If I move some other switch like say SC it would put SC in there. But I just move SB, SB's in there 
and we're done there so just the name and the switch I'll exit out of that now let's go to the next menu this is menu 5 here I'm gonna to go to menu 6 right here and again down here on number 5 channel 5 right here go in and edit that in the mixer here and I gave it a name flight mode and it already had the source here which was F mode the one I created earlier and that's really all I did in there okay let's exit out of that exit out of that now let's go forward I didn't do anything with the servos nothing with curves nothing with variables nothing with logical switches but in the special functions I made three special functions here so SF1, SF2, and SF3 and all they are is the SB switch up, middle, and down right there and for each one I put in play track for the function and then for the sound over here I put uh, my three sounds acro mode, stabilize mode, and horizon mode. Now stabilize mode I had to create myself and I show how to create sounds in another video. The other two sounds were already in the, uh, the directory for the sounds that come for the uh, Tyrannus. But uh, yeah those are just three sounds and this is how I set it up. This over here is just play it once, 1x right there. And that's it there. But also down here on special function 7 I put a volume knob. Now you don't have to put it on 7. I could have put it on any of the special functions but I just chose 7. And the volume knob is just this knob up here. I chose this knob to be the volume knob. And so the function is volume. The knob is S1. So again I just highlighted this and then turned the knob so that uh, S1 would show up. And then I checked this box or ticked this box over here. Uh, this, and then I went ahead and set this to on right here. And that's all there was to it. And that's all I did. Just those three menus. And now we have the flight mode switch on channel 5. So this video got kind of long. So what I'll do is I'll put the flight test in the next video. And we'll see how the three modes do. Take your flight.